All right, guys, welcome to the 10th episode of Beyond the Blueprint. And today we're going to go back again to that constant theme of keeping you connected with what's happening around your franchise. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing that at this point, but it's one of those things that I think is really important. And outside of depth, one of the biggest things CFM needs is immersion. You look back to the older Maddens, whether it be Madden 06, where you had things like the team and national newspapers, then you had the Tony Bruno show in there as well. And say what you want about the Tony Bruno show. It might have been horribly repetitive, but for its time, it was a pretty cool thing to have. Um, then you even go back to within CFM when the news and Twitter feed were front and center. And all of these things add immersion and help you feel connected with your franchise. And this would essentially be another one of those things. And what we're going to be talking about today is the CFM ticker. So basically think of this as a more subtle and persistent news feed. Just as the score ticker does within your games, the CFM ticker would aim to do that same thing and more while you're not in a game. So as you're going to see in all of these screenshots, it doesn't matter what you're doing within your franchise, there's going to be a constant stream of information and news from your CFM scrolling along the bottom. So whether you're scouting, looking at stats, reordering your depth chart, any number of things that you could be doing within CFM, you're going to be constantly getting that information that it keeps you in touch with what happened last week, what's happening during the upcoming week, and what's happened over the course of your season as well. This would range from anything like last week's scores, next week's schedule, league leaders, injuries, transactions, player of the week awards. Just about anything that happens within franchise could be ran across the bottom in the same fashion that you see tickers utilized on ESPN or any other network. And just as you can do with the in-game ticker, you'd also have the option to tailor the information that was being displayed so that if you only wanted to see scores, you could do that. If you wanted it to be essentially a scrolling transaction log, you could do that too. It'd be customizable to make sure that you were getting the information useful to you in a quick and seamless fashion, which is another one of those things that I've talked a lot about and have long had an issue with when it comes to CFM. The CFM menus have always been clunky and just overly cumbersome in my opinion in that if you want to go find something, you have to go digging through menus and button pressing and this would be something aimed to somewhat remedy that. Obviously, if you're looking for something specific, you're going to have to still go through that process. But if you're just looking for general information and stuff that you wouldn't normally get without searching for it, I think this would provide a nice balance. With that being said, we could put that in and it would be entirely useful in that form, but I wanted to go a little bit further and add something that would take it to the next level and make it a bit more intuitive for the user. So the basic idea here would be that depending on what's scrolling or being shown along the ticker at any given time, it could also be expanded upon to give more information and context to what is being shown. So let's say a score is scrolling across the bottom, you click the right stick or any assigned button and that is going to pull up a look at all the scores from that week and will highlight both the game that you expanded from as well as your user game from that screen or if you've expanded the ticker while it's showing player stats from a certain game you're going to be taken to the box score of that game so you go quickly from just seeing the score and maybe a few key players to being able to see everything about that game conversely if the ticker is scrolling through games from the upcoming week and you click to expand you'll be presented with a look at all the games scheduled for that given week and again you're going to see your team's game highlighted as well as the game from the ticker that you expanded from. From that screen, similar to the box score, you'll be able to choose any game, but since these are upcoming games, you'd be taken to a screen with an overview of whichever matchup you chose. This probably looks somewhat similar to those old Madden 2005 era loading screens, but what you'd be getting here essentially is stat comparisons, key players, and then all-time meetings as well, which kind of goes back to that league history thing that I made a video about. And then for transactions, it's going to be the same concept again. If you expand on a transaction, it's going to essentially open up the, the league transaction log and once again the move that you expanded upon will be highlighted as well as any moves made by your team. So again the theme here is not only presenting you with as much information from around your CFM as possible but also presenting that information in a way that makes it easily accessible and able to be quickly consumed. Overall though, this is another one of those set and forget type features where it's not necessarily vital to the mode, but like I said, it helps with immersion and increasing the connection that you have with your CFM. And it isn't gonna be a feature that requires a whole lot of maintenance. You put it in and you just let it do its thing. It's not gonna be something where there's gonna be this major issue where it needs to be taken out. Uh, it's also one of those things where as a CFM adds more depth and more features, you're probably gonna be spending more time doing stuff outside of the game. And if you're doing more stuff 
within the menus, whether it be roster moves, scouting, dealing with injuries, being able to have that information always at your fingertips is going to help the experience and it's going to make things feel a bit more fluid rather than clunky or cumbersome. Uh, that's going to do it though. Let me know if this is something that you would like to see within CFM and if it's something that you think would be useful as well as anything else that you might want to see. Scroll through it if it were to be in Madden. I'm not sure what my next video is going to be, but being that the gameplay stuff is supposed to come out this week, uh, like I said in the update video, I'll probably end up making a video about the dev blog and the new gameplay features that they announce in that. Obviously, the big one is going to be the real player motion, but I'm excited to see what they have to say about that and what else is coming as well. Uh, but like I said, that's going to do it. I hope you guys have a great day, and until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.